Hey guys, it's Rob J here, and in today's video, we're going to be doing a Campanotus Herculinus update. This is the colony last time you saw it, and they've done a lot of growing since then. So, here's then the colony now. They are currently moved into a ant kit size 8 2016 style nest in the old format attached to a large outworld. They're using 13mm tubing with the large version of the nest for room. So here they are, they've done so much growing since you last saw them in their size 3. They've essentially took over this size 8. I know not every chamber is used, but it certainly is quite productive for them. They actually have established a trash pile and I can actually take the blue lid off and I can actually get most of the rubbish out of the nest through there, which is quite nice. Other than that, they have just the one chamber that they've made dirty. The queen herself has been brilliant for me and she's done nothing but keep laying at a steady rate. She's currently hanging down at the bottom chamber, down in what I like to call the cocoon chamber. This is where most of the large workers are and they sort of follow her around. The ones that are very large uh, compared to the standard workers but as you know there are different castes in this species. And as we take a look across the rest of the nest you can see like most of the workers are the miners. And then you've got quite a big ant over here and you've got quite a big variation of size throughout the nest. Higher up, in the more wet area, the less heated area, because the queen's hanging out right down on the heat cable, up in the more humid and cooler area, and we'll have a little look at that in a minute, but I've just noticed that the workers were actually feeding each other then. And here we are in the egg chamber. I call it the egg chamber because this is where all the eggs are kept and as they grow larger and transform they are moved down onto the heat cable for its obvious benefits. So this is essentially all these ants look like they're asleep but they're all literally on egg duty is what I like to call it. And further up in the nest is essentially just the last chamber to the exit and the inner chamber where a lot of um, feeding each other and stuff is distributed throughout the nest as well as old carcasses ready to be taken out or left there until an ant comes along and actually does that job and takes it out to the outworld. Here I'd accidentally knocked the nest with my knee and the queen got a little bit aggravated by that so I just returned the red cover and turned off the lights and stopped recording just to let her calm down again, we don't want to stress her out. She wasn't stressed out at all through all the recording until I accidentally nudged the nest. The outworld, as usual, is no more than one or two workers out there, and their job is just to give the colony a constant supply of water and food. Anyway guys, hope you've enjoyed this update, and I'll catch you in the future.